Hey y'all, welcome back to Irix Guys Adventures channel, youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and share this video and any of my videos with others. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. Now a question I get a lot from a lot of viewers, and by the way, I love your questions and your feedback because it what's it's what helps me to create more content for this channel, youtube.com forward slash irix guy but the question is how do you travel with a drone if you're flying in an airplane now and I've also gotten the question about the cruise ship which I haven't tested that yet uh, but I will but this is how I travel in an airplane with a drone now again check with your airport check with your TSA or whomever and you know make sure that that you're meeting or exceeding whatever the current regulations may be. But what I did, and this is just an, a real world example, a flight from the United States of America to Canada. So how did I do it? Well, first of all, I used this case. And you can check the link within this video's description to get this. Uh, this is what I use for my Phantom 2. But what I put in the case was the bare essentials. So. And I hope you can see it in this video. I got my Phantom 2 with the 4K, uh, 4K video rig, and I've got the controller in there. But what I do not have in there are the batteries. Because batteries for a Phantom 2, they're actually considered a hazardous material. So, or there's some, I don't know if it's hazardous, hazardous material, what they call it, but you got to put them in your carry-on. So what I do, I carry this backpack, and you can also find this backpack within this video's description. And I individually wrap the batteries, and I don't know if this is necessary, but it's what I did just to be proactive about it. I just got these little Crown Royal sacks, <laughs> and I put the batteries in there. So I had each battery, I had three batteries, individually wrapped in a uh, Crown Royal sack in my carry-on, and then obviously also this backpack's my camera backpack too, so I've got all my camera gear, my carry-on, my hard drive with all my videos in it, and then also the prop guards, because I didn't put them in the case just because of size, so I, I put them in my carry-on backpack. So that's what I did, and I mean, you know, every, every experience is different. I've flown, I've traveled by way of airplane a lot, with a drone and one thing that I would definitely recommend I would probably never put the drone in your carry-on even if you're packing light if you put it in your carry-on you're probably setting yourself up for problems because I know uh, I know a buddy of mine that was traveling internationally and he chose to have the drone in his carry-on so when he was walking around the airport between flights he was actually questioned about it you know why do you have a drone now granted, that was in the earlier days of drones, and I think it was a time where people, including the TSA and whatever, they were still trying to discover, you know, what are these? Why are people carrying these? But I think now they're more, they're, they're more known. And actually I was shocked, uh, both traveling from U.S. to Canada and Canada to the U.S., I was shocked that I, the one thing I did have to do when I was, when I was checking my bag in, uh, in British Columbia, in Vancouver, Vancouver International Airport, I did have to, uh, in, instead of just putting the, the bags on that thing that they just go in and they're, and they're checked, I did have to walk it over to the TSA people and you know they ran it through the, the radar or whatever it is, a scanner, x-ray, whatever you want to call it, and then they you know went through. And surprisingly enough, you know, I, was, I was just ready for you know, open it up, question, 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 and surprisingly enough, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't an issue at all. So it was actually the uh, smoothest international flight that I've done with a drone. And that's probably, like I'd mentioned earlier, that's probably because people are becoming more used to these devices. They're seeing them more in airports. They're seeing them in, uh, in the news, obviously, and on, on channels like Iron Skies Adventure Channel, YouTube.com forward slash irix guy that you're watching right now so yeah it's uh it you know as a as, as a drone enthusiast it's hard to uh 
it's it's hard to walk up up to that line and be like, well, you know, how much am I going to get? How how much of this is going to get torn apart? And surprisingly enough, it was a it was a haggle haggle hassle free process for me, at least this time. So I hope if you decide to travel with a drone, I hope that you have the same experience, if not better. And I hope that uh, well. Again, check the link within this video's description. You can get this backpack that I use and then also the, uh, the drone case that I use. And what, what's also an important feature about this drone case is that it has a pressure release valve. So when you do hit your destination and you open this, there's likely going to be a lot of air that's going to need to come out before the, pop, before the top will pop open. So it'll make a hissing sound. Don't let it freak you out. But yeah, that's how I travel with a drone. How do you travel with a drone? Share this video with others. Subscribe if you haven't already. YouTube.com forward slash iRickSky. And again, before you travel anywhere, check with the, uh, you know, check with the airport. Check with, check with everyone and make sure that what you're doing is 100% correct. Because, you know, policies and procedures, they can always change. And this is by no means a guarantee that it'll work or won't work. And it's not like you're committing a crime. You're just traveling with a, uh, with a recreational flying device. So anyway, hope you found this video to be of value. Check out all my drone videos. Subscribe. Share with others. YouTube.com forward slash Y'all have a good day and fly safe.